We have a, a few video tutorials we're going to cover um, around optimization, uh, measuring your traffic, uh, how to find out how people are finding you in search and uh, where they go to when they're on the website. Um, but there's two basic elements, you know, driving them to the website, i.e. being found in search, and then identifying what those users do when they are on the website. And two of the questions uh, accompanied with that uh, that I get asked quite often are where are we in search and when we identify where a website or a page on a website is ranking in search, how we can get that page further up the search results. So there's going to be probably three, four video tutorials. I'm going to try and keep them to five or ten minutes each and each one is going to cover a, a very specific area. In this one we're going to cover analytics. We have a client in the UK, uh, AVM Solutions, who uh, provide, uh, amongst other things, uh, video walls. And what I want to do is just very briefly go over their analytics. I may jump into another client and show their analytics also for comparison. And we're also going to look at Google Search Console and certs and also AdWords. Um, very briefly, analytics will tell you um, what happened with people that physically visited your website. Google Search Console, on the other hand, uh, if I just go to the dashboard, Google Search Console will give you an overview of where you appeared in search. There are also two interfaces. Uh, this is the old interface and this is the new one. Now, I use both interfaces purely because there's a migration going between the two and some information is available in one but not the other. And it's really handy to find out uh, where you're appearing in search because not everybody can and does use uh, SERPs or search engine uh, ranking which we have the report open here. So this will tell us where you physically rank, but we can not just rank, uh, check the ranking in google.co.uk, we can check it in google.com, .es, .co, any country, any search engine, and we can also track uh, where you appear in search for mobile, for example, uh, and even down to the device, whether it was an Android device or iPhone device uh, that you ranked on, and it will track that ranking over time. The only other thing uh, that leads on to this is uh, Google AdWords. So we have uh, a, a small AdWords campaign running here and it tells us how many people uh, saw the advert or adverts and how many people clicked. And the reason I'm showing all of these things is because each one has an impact on the other. So you'll see here, uh, video walls, for example, did rank 76th now it ranks 64th. It's dropped slightly in the last day but it will go back up and because we've had an organic campaign where we've optimized the content and we've promoted the content I believe personally we have that page as high as we can get it which is quite lower around the 70 mark but curiously when we started the AdWords campaign the ranking jumped so the organic rank is, in my opinion, affected by the uh, paid adverts, although Google would, would disagree with that. And we can see here, if we click here, we have a graph and it shows us where the page ranked. So a month ago, it ranked 76th, it dropped slightly and then it came back up. It peaked at 54th and now it's ranking at 64th. Not fantastic, you know, that's the sixth page on Google but it shows me that there's a definite correlation uh, between AdWords and organic ranking. Doesn't necessarily mean there's a causation though. So let me jump very quickly into the analytics. Here we have uh, the overview. Uh, if I just go into audience, overview, you'll see here it'll tell us how many sessions a website had, uh, how many users, uh, how many pages they looked at, etc. And we can compare this as well. So if I want to compare this to the previous period, I'll 
compare it to the previous year, we can see immediately once the report generates that there's a definite difference between the two periods and you'll see that there's a, a slight drop in the number of users uh, but a number of uh, an increase in the pages being used and the number of sessions. I'll just remove that now and re compare that to the previous period, the previous month. So we see a significant increase and that's probably due to the AdWords campaign and the organic campaign we've been running. We have another video tutorial that goes into more detail on this, but I'm going to very briefly cover the, the main headings. If you go into the audience overview, this will tell you very briefly um, how many pages have been viewed, how many sessions, which country people are coming from, the languages they speak. And you can go into more detail here. One of the other areas I look at is acquisition, where people came from, which should tie in with Google Search Console, but it doesn't. And there's a big debate on, on the internet in the various groups I'm a member of in why Google Search Console data doesn't correlate exactly with analytics data. Um, that's a question for Google, <laughs> and we've asked them. Uh, not always is the data accurate. It could be that uh, these are just uh, .co.uk searches or .com searches in the case of a US-based client. But what it does tell us is this. How many people came from organic search? How many came direct? In other words, typed in the URL or used a bookmark or a shortcut on the desktop or maybe a link on the phone. How many visitors came from referrals? And you'll see here we have page search and social. Social, I would like to be higher with any client. I would always encourage them to post into social media, and that's something I work on with most clients, and I always encourage them to write content on the website, promote that content through social, and we see the social figures go up. Another area uh, that's of interest is behavior. So if we look at the behavioral overview, this tells us how many pages were viewed, how many unique page views, how long people stayed on a site, and it tells us which pages were most popular as well. Again, this is just an overview uh, to get a little bit more insight into the data. The ideal scenario is that we spend a couple of hours just focused on this, and I'm happy to do that by a video call, uh, no matter where you are. It just means that we have to schedule the time. Another interesting uh, report within analytics is behavior flow. It gives us a visual overview of where people went to on the website, where they came from, which pages they went to, and very important as well, the drop off rate. So you can see on the starting page, the home page, we had um, 152 through traffic but 279 drop-offs that means 279 people just left that page however it's possible that those people simply wanted contact details and in the case of this website the contact details are right at the top of the page they can just pick up the phone and ring that pretty much covers the overview of analytics what I would encourage you to do is spend time looking through this look at the things like the demographics uh, the technology. Mobile for me is quite interesting because it tells us what percentage of people were using which type of device. That really helps with design because if more people are using a mobile device to view your website I would encourage you to put that website on a diet and remove large images. Try and get the page load speed down to below three seconds because there's nothing more frustrating for a mobile user than having to wait 10 seconds for a website to load. I hope that's been of use, and as I said, if you would like uh, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, to go through this data, let's just schedule a talk, and I'll quite happily go through it with you, because it's in my interest that you have a uh, complete understanding of what the analytics data is. Thanks very much.